Welcome to Let's Learn Railway Empire 2 together. All right, hi, this is Atticut, and welcome to episode 6 of Let's Learn Railway Empire 2 together. So we are playing the first campaign mission. This is part 4 of our look at that mission. Um, if I haven't said it already, I'll say it, uh, I'll say it now, and if I have said it already, I'll say it again. The missions in Railway Empire 2, if we're to go off of this one, are much more involved, much bigger than the, one, the campaign missions in the original Railway Empire. So those of you who are reticent about the game because you think, oh, there's only five missions, I'd say it's a lot more stuff to do than in the campaign missions in the original game. So um, let's see where we are. Uh, and, oh, and I will say too, keep the comments coming. Great stuff. I'm learning stuff every time I play. Uh, Glenn B. and Steve Gooch both pointed out I can go up here and see all my lines. I can see, uh, well, wait a minute. Uh, now we've got an auction. What's this for? Creative accounting. I'll bid. I know we get a discount on this, but I swear these bids are so flippin' expensive. I would almost rather let my opponent win it and pay a ridiculous price for it. I can't bid any higher, so it doesn't matter. So he won that one anyway. Um, let me see here. Rail line cities flow of goods. Oh, if I click this, oh, train utilization. I think this is supposed to. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Steve Gooch said, turn that on and you can kind of see what's going on with your trains. It is useful, uh, very useful actually. All the green you can kind of ignore, but you've got some stuff here here, right in here. You can see the, well, when you, you get up here high, you can see these colors, it's a little crowded, and these trains are, are not being used enough because they're having to wait. So I wanna deal with that in a second. I wanna take a step back here, and first of all, see where in the world are we? Okay, we're waiting on Albany to grow to 90,000 so we can put in a university. And let's just take a quick look at that. It's at 84,000, it's at 89% growth. Is there anything else reasonable that we could do for it? Alcohol, dairy products. Um, oh, look at that. Speaking of the devil, Syracuse has grown. We could put another industry in there. Let's, uh, let's think about, I, I think we could put uh, the distillery it would take um, uh, fruit and sugar. So we've got sugar over here, and we've got fruit uh, coming into Albany directly. I think I think the easiest thing, though, would be we've got milk here in Albany as well. Let's just put a um, let's go in here. I want something that's useful that's gonna help us grow, right? So let's go here and let's do a, a factory and let's put in the dairy industry because we have milk readily available. So let's just put a dairy industry down here, kind of right next to, uh, right next to our other buddy here, there. So now we've got a dairy industry, we've got milk, we can make, make the dairy products, cheese, and then that can go back over here to Albany and, and give it just one more thing it needs, right? So that's one more one more demand fulfilled. Okay. We've got 12 salt on the way uh, by train. That's that big long line we set up, I think, at the end of the last uh, episode. All right, so we've got that going. So uh, we'll see what that means to us. What did I say it was? It's at 85.7 and we're at 90%. We've got a library in there, which is helping us with the uh, fulfillment. Because we've got a few we're missing here. We can use furniture, we've got salt on the way, we need the, the dairy, and we need uh, liquor. And what's this, ceramics? That's the whole set. So we got almost everything going on here. Now, um, I have a hard time remembering what I've said, what I haven't said, uh, you know, uh, these small breakdowns don't mean anything. Let's get out here and see where... Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, we're slow through here. So here's what I want to do with that. Well, we've got a couple of dollars and we're waiting. I want to expand this out to eight, eight uh, to maybe two sets of four. 
uh, as far as the tracks go. And I definitely want to stand, expand this out to, to four tracks so that we can use four, four platforms here. We might even think about running all this into these four. Do I want to do that? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't think, but I do want to expand them out to, to uh, four, a uh, full four. So that's it. That's going to hurt us a little bit. We've got to, we can delete back to here. We can go, all those trains will just reset. And I'm going to delete uh, this and this as well. Delete all of that. And we're going to build this out again. We're going to run it out kind of straight line. Uh, I wish I knew how far you had to run it. I don't, but I'm going to just say that'll do. And then we'll I'm going to stub this out and see if we can put a four-platform grid over here. That's a nine miles of track right there. Come on, grid work. Yeah, that away. All right, we can get our grid lines in there like that. And then I'm going to cut out these little stubs. Uh, and then we're going to take this line here and go like this. And like this. Get those directions going. Uh, as I do need this plug back in. This was set to go in there, wasn't it? With the milk. I actually think what I'm going to do, though, This track here, I think I think what I'd rather do, would I rather do that? No, need to, still need to milk down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go. Uh, that's not going to work. Okay. Let's clean this up. So we're trying to grow, desperately trying to grow Albany, and I'm going to uh, support that by blowing up all its connections. Okay, we want this to be able to connect in like this and come up like this and connect. Why in the world won't it make that turn? It won't make that turn. It's No, no, it won't. What? Why is that? That's weird. Okay. Throw that away. Uh, let's try this again. What's this up here? Uh, I don't want an orchard near Boston. Um, I 
did make a big goof up my usual favorite mistake here. Uh, forgot to put in supply towers on this Montreal Quebec thing. Yeah, that, that'll fix, clean that up. We've got a lot of waiting going here. In fact, that breakdown may have killed us, I'm not sure. Yeah, it did. Okay. So hopefully these all these trains over here have reset and are coming back out. Our, we're at 88 7. Oh, I see. We got new. When I reset them all, some of the ones that originate here are are having difficulties getting resituated, so to speak. I think they all spawn from track number one. Let's look at our our station. Very nice. Research available? No. Our next available, we'd like to get the done. What's creative accounting? Expenses are calculated lower while at the same time revenues and profits are presented higher. This makes the company look better from the outside. The amount of bonds you can issue. Oh, I see. They present uh, <laughs> creative accounting. <laughs> Cute. Okay, Albany's the largest city. Well, I would have thought it would always have been. So, did we just hit our goal? I mean, how big are we? We're at 90,000. Let's uh, grab a city building, a university, and it just plops down right on top of the library because it replaces it. It's kind of weird. You have to take it. Well done. Library. People are ecstatic about our new university. Have you heard yet? We've won the election. I am now the mayor of Albany. You are truly a genius. Well, thank you. I just spoke to the mayor of Philadelphia. They're willing to grant us access to the southern part of the East Coast. For a fee, of course. We should definitely take advantage of this opportunity. So, we finally meet face to face. We haven't been formally introduced yet, but really, there's only one thing you need to know. Nothing goes down here without my permission. As long as you don't get in my way while on my turf, we'll have no problem with each other. Ugh, what an unpleasant guy. It's best not to pay any attention to this bully for now. Let us focus on earning money. Okay, so, uh, one, uh, several things going on now. We've got seven new tasks. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. We've also hopefully cleared this up a little bit. Hopefully this is better. We've got our university. It should improve our um, research, shouldn't it? Does the university improve it? I don't remember what we were getting before. Uh, what's the point of a university? Constructed, can be constructed. Oh, ha! <laughs> okay, the university costs us money doesn't appear to add any benefit, except it does allow your city to grow past uh, 100,000. Because if without that, the city would get to 100,000, it would just stop. So, um, nice looking. Would have been better turned a different way, but that's okay. That's all right. All right, now, we got to look at those tasks and see what, what to do next. I did see one other thing up no, it's gone. I think there was a connection bonus up there I missed. Absolutely missed it. Okay. They said we could we could go into here, which is going to cost us 983000 and give us access to Philly and Washington and probably Pittsburgh. Okay. 
Uh, let's look at our tasks. Achieve an express status on a rail line between Boston and Philadelphia. Okay, that should be easy enough. Deliver eight loads of salt to New York City. Hint, there's no demand for salt in New York until its population reaches 70,000. Reach 75,000 citizens in the Mid-Atlantic States region. The cities are Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Washington. You can display the regions by the city list. Okay. And buy, we have to start buying his stock, so that's going to be out there for us as well. And optionally, buy out his company. Grow Big Lick, Charlottesville, and Norfolk to 120,000. And have three cities of 120,000. Well, Albany would be one that I think we can get to that point. Boston is possible. We would need to get another one. Um, Uh, uh, the old me would say we've got to do the optional task, don't we? But let's uh, let's uh, let's focus on these. Let's get these done and see how we do, and then we'll decide if we need to go for the optional ones. Okay. Um, Boston to Philly. Okay, Philly's right there. This would be D.C. and that's Pittsburgh. And you go on down here. This is these three. This is probably Big Lick and was it Norfolk and Charlottesville or something like that in Virginia? Whatever, we'll worry about them later. This, the, we want to grow this. So we've got to grow cities here. So if we look at this, we've got cattle here. We've got grain over here. Unfortunately, there's a big old mountain Look at this, this is ugly here. If we want Pittsburgh to play in this little thing, it could be our beer provider. Who who has beer? Meat, do beer. Yeah, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has the beer. If we want a beer meet down here, we're gonna to have to get Pittsburgh in. We're probably gonna to have to build an expensive line through here, a tunnel or something, to get through that mountain pass. Um, it's not like we're out the original game where, where we had that cool way we could get between Baltimore and Pittsburgh. I don't, I don't see anything cool here. Uh, what's West Virginia cost? Can we go to West Virginia? 300000 That's all you charge us to get to West Virginia? Come on, we're worth more than that. And there's no coal down there? Oh, give me a break. All right. Um... Okay. The nice thing, it looks like we can just, we've already got a station here in New York. It looks like we can just build Philadelphia and Washington easily enough. And maybe we'll skip Pittsburgh and do, think of it as New York, because we have to grow New York anyway, I think. We have to, it has to be big enough to hold the, um, whatever that is they wanted. Oh, the salt. It's only a 54, so we've got to make, New York Pro. So let's do New York, Philly, and maybe DC, or maybe even just New York and Philly. That would probably be enough to grow this region. If we could set up like a, a warehouse in New York that fed Philly, or vice versa, and I actually think given what we've got, it would be easier to set a warehouse in New York and have a freight line that runs down to Philly, and we can start feeding stuff to, to Philadelphia, or maybe have a warehouse in each one. Oh, we really need uh, beer. We could do Albany, New York, Philadelphia. And have lines from Albany running New York and Philadelphia. Let's do that. All right, let's let's go uh, track mode. Let's build another set here. Let's just go. I mean, we, let's take advantage of this big old thing. We got this big old station here. Let's go out here like that and then keep going. 
We'll keep going and go. Will it let us go down through here? Will it let us hook up to that? Will it let us do that? Yes. Will it let us go over that and go over here? It will for a lot of money. And an awfully big slope. Ooh, ooh, that was... I saw a four in there somewhere. How'd that do? That's only four degrees right there. Huh. Huh. That might work. That might work. We came down here like this. Yeah. And then we want to come into this, and we want this to be... Probably up, up here. I'm running up so we, we can put a gridiron on this. But you know what? We only need two or four. I, I, I think I'd be more comfortable with four. I'm assuming that's going to go up to about here or something. So let's do that. Now let's get rid of that one. There we go. And then we can pull this down off the mountain a little bit, like this, and pull this down off the mountain like that. Oh, uh, and this, this still works. That red there, that's just showing us where the uh, supply depot is. And it's only 465, that's not, that's not ridiculous. Because we don't have to touch this, we don't have to change anything. We'd have a clean lane. I think that's it. I think we're, we're going to double track that and go back. Now, do we do four of them or two? We'll just do the two, I think. And we'll go away. Do we want all four? We could have all the lanes use all four. Let's do that. Okay, the four is not as surprisingly effective. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to mess up that badly or be that slow or anything like that. So we've got our intersections. Do we have an intersection up here? Uh, do we want two or four here? I think we're answering our own question. I think we want uh, this. And we only need two up here, so we'll go... Uh, no, we'll, we'll set this to two and come out like this. And... And one thing we can look at from this is um, we think about this, uh, it might be a good idea to just plan on having, especially a major, you know, we, I mean, we, we came by this design in part by accident, right? We just kind of just, it just sort of came to us naturally, and I, I think it's really good, but uh, it wasn't part of a master plan. If that had been part of a master plan, we would have line these up, maybe even face the uh, stations this way, more north-south, to give us more operating room. And um, we would have been prepared to have the eight-track deal going. Because it seems to me, the game, and you guys put in the comments what you think, but what I, what I see is we don't run as many trains, but the trains that we do have really do seem to bog down easily. You really do need those eight tracks. 
that's that's my impression. Now, I don't know if that's really true or not. That's just you know sort of a almost anecdotal thing at this point. Let's. Um, oh, we already did the tracks. Let's get some uh, uh, supply towers. There's one up here. There's one down here. That's cool. So that that'll get us from Albany to New York. Now let's go from New York to Philadelphia. Oh, didn't we buy that access? Oh, I guess we just thought about it. All right, let's hold on a second. <laughs> what do we need to build to grow New York? Well, I, I tell you, I, the main thing we need really. Oh, and by the way, um, Johnny gave me some feedback about, well, if you're going to take that no automatic line, and then you have to run a freight and, a, and an express to do the same job, particularly early in the game. And um, that's a valid point. Uh, we have to do the analysis of it. Now, Chiltex actually did some analysis and ran tests on um, what his maintenance costs were for an automatic train versus a freight train. And you do save money from the freight train, but it's only it was only like thirty-two dollars uh, a train or something like that. Um, and if that means one train could do the job of two, and even if it costs you a little extra, if you have some conductors you don't need or whatever, uh, that's probably the way to go. So, so I may have to backtrack my uh, run no automatic line statement. And in fact, I'm going to do that right here. We're going to run automatic lines between Albany and uh, New York, okay? And I think we're going to put a, a warehouse in New York. We've got meat down here. Oh, it's perfect. We'll put a warehouse down here that has um, uh, beer in it, okay? So we're going to take this station and put a warehouse. And I think we'll put maintenance on it as well. So we've got maintenance in a warehouse. And then in the warehouse, we're going to have uh, what? Well, definitely beer. And I got to go look to see what else. Okay. So for Philadelphia, we can get logs. We can do our wood well, we've already got wood here going. Our buddy here has wood going into New York. But it wouldn't be coming into our warehouse. Although we have a line right here that could do that. Oh boy. I mean, let me see. We don't, the thing is we don't need the logs to, or the lumber, I think they call it, you know, lumber to build New York, but we need it for Philadelphia, perhaps. And we definitely need grain, no matter what. So let's let's think about um, warehouse grain. Okay. We've got grain right here. We can just run it straight through. Now, okay, we can't run it literally straight through, right? This one is going up here. But if we were to add track to run this guy through these two, then it could actually run straight through. So why don't we do this? Why don't we do track, more track. Um, yeah, actually, in fact, let's just change how this, this one works. Let's go in and... And run track like this. And 
double track it and then put our grid on each side of it. Why is that so long? I guess that curve. Okay. And set our directions. Okay. And we should have a train running on that. Yeah, it should just flip over to that other line. Okay, good. So now we're still running our grain in here, but now we want to have grain run to uh, New York. Well, actually, in fact, we don't even have to do that. We can just, that automatic line will grab grain. It'll grab corn. It'll grab all these things that are here. So let's set up um, grain, corn, beer. We've already got cloth and clothing in New York. And we'll have meat from down in Philly. Uh, let's do let's do uh, logs. And what else? We could do sugar. And then we'll decide what else. Okay, so let's let's set up the line between Albany and New York. We'll make it automatic. We'll choose the John Bull and we'll run four trains. Oh, and, and we didn't put it, oh, oh. And we've got another business we can put in Albany and it's getting fruit and it's getting sugar, so why don't we do the alcohol here? Let's do the distillery here and let's do the distillery here in Albany. Yeah, okay, so we put in a distillery in Albany and it takes sugar and, and uh, apples, which were already, or sugar and fruit, which were already set up to run. We should be running them from up here. And there, one, one train just took off. I don't understand why that one is waiting for deployment. Why isn't it just deployed? Run full fruit. Oh, I think it's going... I see the problem. Okay. Um, uh, let's go. <laughs> uh, let's run. No, shoot. Where's our fruit going? Oh, let's run our fruit into uh, into a warehouse. Does that make sense? Rather than directly to the city, let's run it into this warehouse over here. All we're doing is sugar right now. Let's do fruit into that warehouse. And let's take that line, this line here. Come on. And let's edit it. So that instead of going to Albany, it goes to Albany 2. Everything else is the same. So that should turn this one on to go ahead and run. Number 2, yeah, it's already up and running. Okay, good. So we'll get fruit uh, coming into Albany 2, and that way our... our Distillery can keep functioning. And do we have our trains here? I 
It's just taking some beer. I wanted to take more stuff. To, oh, I know what's happening. What, okay, well, what's going to happen here now? Um, remember, our warehouse doesn't actually hold our goods. This is always something destined somewhere. So for us to have, say, for example, if we're going to run sugar to New York City, to say that we're warehousing it, which we're not, are we? Oh, we're not. <laughs> okay, uh, grain. To say that we want to run grain to New York City, there has to be grain that comes into our warehouse that was destined for New York City when it when it originated. All right, it won't. You can't just throw stuff in here and then put it wherever you want. It. This stuff has a destination. So some trains have to run in here and put stuff in the warehouse that would go to New York City, and then a train would take it to New York City. So um, uh, it's going to be there's going to be a delay before this stuff starts getting down here. And the wood, oh, and Johnny pointed out, I built a 12 degree slope right here. Look at that. Uh, look at that. That's awful. I don't, know, I don't know how that happened, honestly, because I don't think it's necessary. I think we can delete this. Now, I can be totally wrong. But if you notice, that's only two degrees. Oh no, it's going, oh, I see, it's going up back here. Why did it do that? Was I hitting something I shouldn't have been hitting? All right, let's see if we can get out of here and make something that isn't ridiculous. And maybe not. Zero degree slope, that's a little better. <laughs> I'd say that's slightly better. I don't know how I did that before. I have to go back and review the tape for that. There we go. That should be much, much better. Now, what I was about to say is now we can run this directly over to New York. Will be the easiest way to do that. Oh, I, I guess we can just cross the cross the river. Like this. set up a line that goes from here to here. Put a couple of trains on. Uh-oh, what's going on here? It's clearing. It's still crowded. Really easy to get this stuff crowded up, isn't it? We're still growing at 88 percent. We're hitting. We've just hit 100,000 people here, and we need 300 to get the Dunham. When we get the Dunham, we'll upgrade all of our trains. So, are we getting anything into New York City at all? Have we made any progress whatsoever? Taking 
little beer, some clothing, more clothing. all the clothing. We're making it there. I guess Albany needs it. It's all going to Albany, I guess. Corn. not seem to be getting better. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on. Punch you in here. Let's uh, buy this access. They just charge us more for it. Um, let's go down here to Philadelphia. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. So one more time for halfwits like you. Hands off my territory. If you don't tear down this ugly shack right now, I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> what adult talks like that? <laughs> Anybody you know? <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of markers in here, and we're going to take this side up, and we're going to take th uh, this side up, ah, shoot. Bridges are nearly always cheaper than, oh, it's 70 degrees slow. That's not bad. Six, nine, that's too much. Four and five, I could probably live with. 338,000, let's go get some more money if we can. Yeah. We'll build that. We'll double track it. I'm not gonna worry about express, you know, lines from an express guy anyway. Let's just get a nice double track going down here. Express from um, Boston to Philly. So let's do an express, get a locomotive, confirm that. We only need the one train. It'll, it's, it, it'll be its job to get that done. And I'm going to put repairs down here. Okay, now, um, now we need here, 
to here. Automatic. Get some trains running. Okay. I just want to see what the stock purchase deal is here. Thirteen point seven million to buy him out. Okay. Boston has grown. Boston can take another industry. Hold up now. You really want war? Best settle your affairs, because tonight you'll sleep with the fishes. Ooh, you better be careful. He means business. But we must not let this intimidate us. Did you see what happened there? And that can happen again and again. I'm afraid we have to live with these sabotages for now. At least until we put this gangster out of business. This locomotive is a moving bomb and no one knows when it will go off. Transport revenue for the whole rail line is reduced by 50%. He sabotaged our rail line. Let's see if we can't upgrade all our trains to the Dunham. Replace all for, yep, there we go. Now we're running a better train. We got the Dunham running everywhere. Finally, we got New York growing. That this record is a fake is obvious, but between you and me, how did you do it? Okay, and let's run some uh, sugar down here to uh, to New York. We can do that um, out of here. Uh, better check the topography. Oh, oh, see, I'm, I'm trying to run right, right through a, a mountain range here. That's not going to work. Come out here like this, and like this. You can even. Okay, let's set up a line here to here. Uh, we want the Dunham. Freight train go. And I thought we replaced all of our trains with the dome. Yeah, we did. Okay. Okay, New York is growing, so let's go up here and get our salt ready. We've got salt right up here. We can just set up a line that's going to run to New York as soon as it's ready. I think uh, the way the warehouses work, we can't 
pre-package it. You know what I'm saying? We can't just run down here and throw it in, in New York uh, in a warehouse. It won't work. So let's do this. Let's do a line from here to here. But it doesn't matter about that. But we're not doing that. We're going to be full. We're coming out of track two. We're going to be a Dunham. There's going to be one of us. It's going to be a freight line. And yes, we know we can't do anything yet, but we wanted to do it as soon as it can. So we're... Oh, and the other thing we could do in New York is build a, uh, a library, I think. Yes, let's put a library in New York. We'll go over here and cram up his... Uh, his side of the world. So we'll put a library in, that'll get New York growing faster. That adds 10% fulfillment right there. So that'll help us. Very good. It was about time that we also enter this market with our own goods. Okay, we got we got the the express line, Boston to Philly. We've got the salt set up to go to New York. Now we've really got to grow uh, this region. So what are, what's going on down here? Okay, I think we're about to hit a time limit here where we need to uh, uh, call it a day on this episode. And when we come back next time, we will focus on growing this region. Now, right now we're set up to just grow Philadelphia. I think we're going to have to do better than that. Maybe Philadelphia and Washington. Pittsburgh, I mean, we could do Pittsburgh. We may have to bite the bullet and engage Pittsburgh, get Pittsburgh to Washington to Philadelphia, do a three-city cluster down here. The uh, RE Railway, Railway Empire 2 version of a three-city cluster so that we can get the beer that's over here and the meat that's here and get them flowing back and forth and then maybe down to Washington as well. If we could get all three cities growing, we could knock this task off pretty quickly. It's only 13,000 people. And then we could buy some of Barty. And I guess that would, that would probably finish off the uh, mission and we could I don't know if we want to mess with this or not. We'll see. Um, maybe not just because there's so many things I want to do with this game and so many videos I want to make. <laughs> I've already got them in mind. Um, all right, so next time, like I said, we'll, we'll worry about how are we going to grow this region. And, uh, yep, that'll do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next video.